episode seven we're here we're here welcome back people welcome yeah. back thank you for listening to us we appreciate you and no one even knows that we had technical difficulty and we had to leave and start over no one even knows right it's just Until. our, our yeah. secret just in between the screen. yeah hold on <clears throat> so episode seven episode Tell seven to the fat here we are back again don't call it a comeback Ooh. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we talked about macros. We talked about our little, um, what is it? Our sayings. Oh, our, our saying, you mean our foundations. Yeah, that's the word. The foundations. foundations. Um, we talked about beach body. Beach body. Yes, beach body. And now today we're talking about. Keeping simple it things. Simple. Keeping yes. it simple. Yeah. Simple. Yes. Keeping it simple. Nice. Uh, ah. What did you say? There was something you said on there. It wasn't just keeping it simple. It was something on just the quickest way to get started. This easiest thing to get started. Start the easiest, Start. most actionable thing and build off of that. Yeah. I like that. Right. <clears throat> yep. That's I the feel best it. like. Right, go. When I think about that, I think of, um, I don't know who I heard say it, but um, <clears throat> there's some people on the track that they, they always start with nutrition. So say like a coach, someone who, whatever, they like say nothing can start without nutrition. Because like when you're working out, um, you need better nutrition, right? So their whole path is like, you need to start with nutrition, then exercise can come. And then there's also this whole other path is start with exercise, then you'll feel better, and then you'll want to eat better. So I heard someone explain that definitely much better than I just did. And, and I really believe it that there are like two paths. So some people really, if we could just get them eating better, drinking water, just something simple, because uh, his explanation was because every day we're eating anyways, every day you have to eat, but not every day people right. are exercising. So sometimes exercising is changing too much for them. So just the simple things of nutrition start and then you'll feel better and you want to work out. Uh -huh. And then the other path is just start working out, go to the gym, build the discipline of going. You're going to start feeling better then you'll start eating better. So I don't really think that there's like one way. Um, but I just, I believe when we, when you started talking about this, I just see that as like, okay, here's the pathway, which way do you choose? Cause if they're looking to become fitter, healthier or something, they're probably not doing either. So then right. just to throw everything in at once is pretty demanding and overwhelming sometimes. Right. Yeah. And, um, I feel like people like like complicated, it's sexy, right? Like mm -hmm. counting macros, it's sexy. CrossFit is super sexy. You need to do everything fast and heavy and mm -hmm. like complicated is sexy, right? Like adding tempo to your liftings or supersets and um, I don't know, like eating clean and all of those things. The more complicated it is, the more sexy it gets, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's just like human like thing, just be attracted to the sexiest sexiness of the thing instead of the boring stuff or the like the simplest stuff. But it's like, if you're not even drinking your water, right? What mm -hmm. is the use on start counting macros? Right. Right. Or if you cannot even walk for 30 minutes straight, what is the use on starting, start doing CrossFit or whatever it is that you want to do it, like a hit or orange theory or whatever, whatever it is mm -hmm. that your choice of exercising, right? But people like to be like, they're either all in and they are doing CrossFit and eating clean and um, everyday supplements and or it's like, oh, I didn't want to uh, work out today. So I might as well just not even count ma my macros or not even drink my water or not even like, I'm just going to eat 
pizza and drink two liters of soda. Yeah. Right. They're they, either all in on the thing or they're not at all because they're so focused on the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I was thinking uh, that is for sure. It's either all or nothing. Right. And I think when someone wakes up, some people do make a decision and then they just change their whole life and it's amazing. And they write a book about it and make a million dollars. Uh, but those are few and like far between. Yeah. And um, yeah, I agree. So when they have done nothing and then they're like, I need to go get super shredded. So I'm just going to do right. everything. And they maybe make it for like a couple of weeks. Right. And it becomes so overwhelming. Yeah, because they just changed right? their whole schedule. Oh. I mean, because that's very demanding. Like you can do it, but it's a, it's a big obligation. It is, and it, it's not only that, but it's like imagine, um, like imagine you want to become a millionaire, right? Like that is your top of the mountain. You want to become a millionaire, but right now you have a hundred dollars on your bank account, right? When right. you look at where you're starting and where you want to go, it's, su it's such a distance that you need to walk, right? It mm -hmm. seems so far from like, you only have a hundred dollars. How, how in the world you're going to become a millionaire, right? It's just so overwhelming and it seems impossible. You're just like, why am I going to try to do that? That's info. I'm not going to even start this fight because I'm going to for sure lose right but mm -hmm. if you just think about it okay i want to become a millionaire what is the easiest thing that i can do next right now that's going to take me there whatever that is that is the next step that you should be looking ahead right mm -hmm. not the top of the mountain and that's like why i kind of think of like just do the most actionable simplest thing that you can do right now and then you decide what's going to be your next step right that's, so you're yeah on a like you're feeling stuck on a rut what it is that you can do right now can you make your bed did you make your bed this morning can you make your bed can you go for a shower can you go for a walk around the the, the neighborhood can you drink water can you maybe eat something that's like clean not like have something that's not fast food for lunch mm -hmm. right whatever it is that's like the easiest thing that's going to make you feel good about yourself that's going to be like make meet you where you are right it doesn't meet, need to be where i am because my goals are and my lifestyle is different than yours right maybe i want to i also want to become a millionaire but i have 500 dollars on my account so i am a few steps ahead than you are right mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that it's going to be easier for me than it's going to be for you we're both going to have to put the same effort on it it's just that we're starting on different places. Yeah, the financing is pretty cool. So we relate to that. So we, years ago, we started like organizing our finances, pay off debt and everything. And our, <clears throat> so we had help with that, like mm -hmm. coaching, right? And then a workbook and then videos. And the first part is overwhelming. So you have all this debt. And I felt like we didn't make like a ton of money to just pay it off. So we had X amount of money and a ton of debt. So then it just broke it down. It was like, here's step one, do this, do this. So then we were found out that we were paying off a ton of debt and our income never increased, but it was just the small things that we could do. Right. And then like when we were able to, I don't know, a couple of years later, whatever, like pay off all of our debt, um, income did increase over that time, but it felt like it was based off of the things that we were doing, the small things that we could do just kind of led us into, oh, and then this happened. Um, but it was for sure overwhelming for me at the beginning. It was like, oh, right. there's no way I'm going to need to make way more money to pay off all this, but it really wasn't true. Um, right. we just weren't doing the small things. We weren't focused on that. Because you're looking at the top of the mountain, 
Yeah, I was like, I was looking at like our other friends or other people who are like debt free and they make all this money. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm not there. Yeah, you look at the top of the mountain and it's just overwhelming. It's like, yeah. there's no way I'm going to be able to get there. Mm -hmm. Just too far away. Yeah. But then you're like, okay, but if I also stay here and not do anything, I'm also not going to even... I'm not gonna even try to get to the top of the mountain, yeah, right? I'm just stuck where I am, and I I couldn't even find out if I got to the top of the mountain or not. Mm -hmm. So why not just put what? Because like, if you're really going to go to the top, like if you're trying to climb a mountain, there is no way that you're gonna be like, okay, let's climb a mountain, boom, and you're at the top of the mountain, right? Right. You're gonna have to like one step after the other step, after the other step, after the other step. And it's going to take you a little bit and you're going to get tired and you're going to sit down and you're going to have to sleep and the weather is going to change and you're not going to be able to climb that day. The same thing goes for everything else that we do in life, right? Like if mm -hmm. you're looking to lose weight, if you keep on eating crap and not drinking water and sleeping like shit and being like a stress cadet and like nothing's going to change, right? You're right. just like, maybe it's going to change for the worst and you're just going to be stuck on that situation. But if you're just like, okay, what it is that one thing, can you sleep one more hour than you're sleeping right now? Yeah. Can you add some stretch session or can you just start drinking water or can you just have a decent breakfast? Right. And you, then mm -hmm. you start building off of that. Okay. I have the breakfast in control. Now I'm going to try to drink one liter more of water a day. And okay. Now I have my breakfast and my water under control. I'm trying to drink uh, to sleep one or two more hours a day. Yeah. And the then sleep, something, the sleep thing's been huge. Right. And then you're going to like, something's going to happen in your life. Kid is going to get sick or wife is traveling or you lost your job something's gonna happen and you're gonna have to take a break your attention your focus is not gonna be completely there the weather changed and you're just like not being able to climb the mountain at that point but that doesn't mean that you're going back to you need to go back all the way down to the bottom of the mountain you just stop right. there put your camp up wait for a second and as soon as you can you start giving the next step ahead right yeah oh yeah without focusing on the the peak because if you yeah. like you have patience you're gonna get to the peak yeah i like when um so that reminds me of like whatever season you're in now or whatever uh circumstance that got you to where you are right now you just acknowledge this is where i'm at right so even if you were driving and you were losing all the weight and you were doing everything right and then like what you said something in your life happens that that's the way that you had it set up is no longer available to do it that way then yeah you got to like set up camp you're like okay yeah. this is what i'm dealing with now what can i do in this situation and it's totally easier said than done 100 um, however if you can acknowledge that and then maybe it helps you get out of that season faster. Right. Like, oh, I, I got to clean this up or right. take care of that fast. Especially, it's even easier said than done because when those things happen, when we encounter a huddle or like an obstacle, we get emotional, right? We get frustrated because we're mm -hmm. doing so good. Oh, dang it. Like in your case, when you're like paying your debts and let's mm -hmm. say something happened and you have a spent that you were not accounting an extra spent, right? Oh yeah. You get frustrated. It's like, oh, dang it. I was going so great at this. And now I have this extra thing. And that now like, what's going to happen? Like yeah. this is, I don't like that. And you get like all flustered and emotional and you start like your brain start to telling you all of those things, like how not worth it of having your that spade or how always this always happen when you're trying to succeed an obstacle comes and puts you down and like your brain is always telling you those shits like those little yeah. lies right yeah when it's just like really like just a way to 
say like I feel like it's just our, our brains to do that just as a way to save ourselves the heartbreak yeah you know I think I think sometimes yeah. too people maybe don't believe that they either deserve or that it could be them that can succeed in something too right. so they've been just programmed so like oh so for the overweight so thing yeah the over being overweight or out of shape that's their identity in their head. So right. even when some people lose weight, they're still the fat person or whatever the word is for them. Yeah. And uh, so that's pretty big. That's pretty big yeah. too. For yeah. sure. Uh, yeah. I like to, I like, like we always, um, we identify, we, we always identify ourselves as something, right? We are some, that yeah. person. Yeah, right? and I, I play with Vanessa. I say that I still have like my uh, fat girl uh, complex because yeah. it's like you see that a lot with um, like pretty girls that were like so pretty in high school, you know, mm -hmm. and they were like the coolest, the cool girl that everyone yeah. wanted to be friends with and every boy wanted to date with and they started getting older and they still identify themselves as that but life changed and there is no being cool anymore and now you're married <laughs> you know like because yeah. when you get older like no one fucking cares about being cool like i'm right. too busy for your coolness i don't care about that right yeah yeah no one cares about that when you're getting older like when you're 18 13 15 i don't know you it's, it's all about being cool but when you get older like who the fuck cares like no one cares you try to make but, the minivan or the mini Cooper cool. Right. You're like, right. this is cool. And you get like, it gets, you see those people who's struggling because it's like. Oh, because their identity I, is like, right. they're popular. and Right. And now like, you don't have friends because you're so busy with being an adult and work and kids and uh, marriage. But you see yourselves like you are the cool girl. You know, mm -hmm. like, who am I now? I don't have friends. I don't go out. I like, no one thinks I'm pretty and I gain weight. And so it's like, there's this dissonance for sure. You gotta like readjust your, the voice in your head. Yeah. As you go through the seasons of your life, right? Like some oh, people sure. there were poor and they see themselves as poor. I'm the poor person or like the victim, right? Like a lot of people put themselves at this, like I am the victim. Right. This always happens to me, poor me. And you never get out of that situation. Yeah. Because you're always putting yourself as poor me, like help me. I am the victim. I'm, you need to give me your hand and take me out of here because I need someone to save me. When in actuality, you're just putting yourself there because there's like, you don't need safety. Just yeah. get up and get out of there, right? Take yourself off of the situation. You're like an adult. Yeah. You're not a kid anymore, right? So the same thing goes with health and stuff like that. Like as soon I, as you start telling yourself, I am an athlete, I am a yeah. healthy person, right? Yeah, Maybe I think- I really like the whole reprogramming thing. And I mean, I try to do it all the time. I'm always like, oh, this stuff just always changes. And then I thought like in the summer, uh, now we're in the summer here, out of school, kids are home. I, um, I had all these intentions of like massive things. Yeah. And then I get here and it's I just like, yeah, it's just like fun hanging with the kids or fun like chilling. Like now there's an open schedule, but somehow it seems like every day just goes so fast, right? And then I was talking to you, I'm like, I don't know how these weeks go. So then in my writing in the morning, it's almost like, not almost like, but finding my purpose in this like summer to enjoy it enjoy time off but still get stuff done still hang with my kids and still work out right it was just like so much scattered in there and then i was frustrated because then i'm not getting anything done right yeah. and uh 
so I totally relate to the whole program. And so like, okay, here's my situation. And there's nothing wrong. Like everything is good. Right. But it's just, not the I'm way. Feel, I'm, yeah, not the way it's like, oh, I should have all this stuff done. Yeah. And then, so when you and I started talking about just scheduling this, it's just super funny. It should be in my head. It's like so easy. We just pop on, let's do a couple a week and yeah. just to get the schedules and do it. You have to like commit and say, okay, right. this is where we're at. Let's go. Let's do one. Let's do right. one. Right. Yeah. The next easiest thing, right? Like just let, let's pick a topic and start chatting about it and yeah. see what happens. So yeah, for sure. Like when we, I, I believe that, right. And um, that's what I talk about a lot with my people. Like when we mm -hmm. work together, it's just like, don't think about losing the 20 pounds, the 30 pounds, the hundred pounds, like that is overwhelming. Yeah. That is crazy overwhelming. Right. Mm -hmm. Or like, I don't know, like being a millionaire or like for people that want to um, be athletes, like just yeah. start moving your body. Like, can you go for a walk? Can you find time to go for a walk? Five minutes walk three times a day. Can you find time for that? Okay, let's, can we build for 10? Can and we build for, and you know, like, can just build it off of things instead of just looking at the top of the mountain and be like, oh, dang it. I need yeah. to sit down for an hour and talk about something that I have no idea what's going to be. And that sounds like a, I don't have time, whatever. Let's not do it. Yeah. I, right? I get, I get overwhelmed when even people come to me and say, this is my goal. And it's like a super huge goal. I was like, Oh, I don't know if we'll get there or not, <laughs> you know, but like, so I, I that? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, uh, you got a plan for that. So <laughs> I try to break it down like where, like really that's your goal. So say that that's their goal. They want it, something astronomical. Mm -hmm. So then I'm instantly overwhelmed and I'm thinking uh, my intern, this is my internal thoughts. Like, oh, well, I'm not sure I can help you with that. <laughs> that's my first thing. Cause it's just so crazy. Wow. And then there's a lot that can go wrong. Right. So then you start breaking it down. And if we can get to one main goal, for this month, because some of the, as far as training and programming, some of the stuff is like very boring and you have to repeat it and it's not super fun, but those things have to get done to like get this other stuff. So if we can just dial it back and say like, okay, um, let's start here. Can we agree on that? Then I'm like more, it's like, okay, I feel I can take care of you with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not to say that I'm like, I don't get over, I get super overwhelmed with my shit, you know, like, yeah. like some days I'm laying down in bed and like, all of a sudden, like my breathing starts to like, and I'm started like, I look up Vanessa and I'm like, I'm having major anxiety right now. I have no idea why we're just like chilling. And I feel just like just, it. yeah. And I feel like just the fact that I'm like chilling instead of being doing something that I maybe in my head, I, sh I feel like I should just trigger something in me. And I just have this major anxiety or whatever. I don't know, but it's like, not to say that I don't have it, but the thing is not letting the anxiety or, or the overwhelm feeling get in the way of your action. Yeah. Right. And it's also like, not to say that it's like, I'm perfect and I'm not l ever let this happen. Cause that's also a lie. Like, I mean, you're pretty I, close to perfect. I am not. I, and plenty of times I'm like procrastinating and playing on Facebook instead of doing stuff that I should be doing or watching TV instead of like none of we are all we are all trying to figure it out. Right. Yeah, I like I like that. And I don't like <clears throat> so even like with helping someone. I like them knowing like when so say, you know, like the morning text or the motivational, or like when you think of like one of your clients or someone and you send them something, right? It doesn't mean that you have that all together too. It means right. you're working on that as well. That was something but, that I was thinking and it served for me. Yes. And I was like, oh, here's something that I feel like it could serve for you too. 
Yes. I don't have it all, like I'm far away from having y'all together. Yeah. In same. All aspects of my life, right? Like relationship mm -hmm. and food and nutrition and exercise and like it's not because I'm a coach that I have all the shits together. It's not because I'm telling you what like those ha those that can do teach, right? Right. <laughs> those that can, <laughs> those, those that can't do teach. Right. That's those that I mean. And those that can't teach, teach PE. Oh, there you go. So we're <laughs> so, like a good deal over here. Yeah, this is great. So but yeah, I, I totally love that too, because it's yeah. like. I'm also always thinking about like when I get overwhelmed or anxious or like just like in the brick of being like, fuck this, I don't want to play anymore. I'm out. I'm just going to lay down in bed for a month and just watch TV. I don't care about anything anymore. I don't care. I don't want to play anymore. Right? Like when I'm about right. to just like white flag, it's mm -hmm. like, okay, what's, what can I do here? What, what is the easiest thing that I can do? That's going to make me feel a little bit better in yeah. whatever it is, the situation on that situation, like in which aspect of my life that I'm feeling like that. I try to do like, is it, if it's nutrition, like maybe let's eat some fruit or a protein shake or a protein bar or something that's going to make me feel like, boom, dang, I'm so healthy. Look at me. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> <Eating an apple. laughs> Bam, I crushed it. Yeah. Right? Or if it's um, exercise, maybe I'm going to go out, go for a walk around the neighborhood, just like breathe, let the wind, the sun, like the birds talking and just like, yes. I'm moving. There's stuff like blood is flowing. That's good. And, that, and that's a big deal. Literally even getting outside, getting the sunlight, no Very sunglasses, smart. just seeing it. Yeah. No phone. That can literally change your life. It can. Like, it like sounds it, too simple and dumb, but I believe it. Mm -hmm. It's primal for sure. So I do like the keep it simple. And I feel like people like to overcomplicate and make it so sexy to say I do CrossFit and I'm counting my macros and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And then they added so much stuff on their plate that when they look, it's like, I don't know where to begin. I'm not going to even try because yeah. it just becomes too much. Yeah. Right? So I don't think um, I heard this the other day. I may mess it up, but it was like chase search for health or chase health and aesthetics will come. Mm. And anyway, so like how I interpret that, I was just having a conversation the other day with someone and it was um, all these like crazy goals and the people are like, this person's fit who's having this conversation. So it would be for someone else looking at this person saying they have all these other goals, they'd be like, bro, you're done. You're there. You're fine. But I think that's what gets them to those places as well. They're just determined and driven. Yeah. However, sometimes you just need to slow down and chill for like right. a little bit. Um, and anyways, we got on the topic of just chasing health and aesthetics will come. So for me, me chasing my health over these last couple of months has just been focusing on my sleep, right? So just to like get enough hours of sleep, get enough REM, you know, recover. Yeah. Um, Cause I have to be up pretty early. So that means I like legit have to be in bed super early. So yeah. like we've been focusing on that, but just from that part and to make that better, it's changed a lot during my day. So I cut out so much caffeine Right. Which is like, oh, so maybe that's not affecting my sleep. Boom. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't because like, and then I can tell like uh, stuff is overlaid. Like, um, what do you call that? Not overlaid. Uh, transferred over into mm -hmm. other things. So like my workouts are better. My, this is better. I now want, I'm focusing on water more. Not eating right before I go to bed. But it was all just because like, okay, I'm just going to focus on my sleep. Right. So that was my health. That, that can't do. Right. Yeah, that was that was my health part. And it really takes my whole family to be involved too, because I really go to bed way before they do. Right. And but they're like cool. I mean, obviously they're not gonna be, no, you can't go to bed. Right. But it it takes everyone for that one thing. And you gotta do like 
that is also your, I feel like that's important to say because a lot of people feel like this is selfish, right? Oh, yeah. This, this attitude that you're having of, I'm going to go to bed before my whole family because I need to take care of my yeah. sleep. That is super selfish. That's But true. Also, I, I, I had trouble with that right. myself because yeah. I was yes. like... A lot of people has. It's like, dang it, I'm taking, I'm taking myself away from my time with my family to take care of me. But also, if you're not taking care of you and being your best self, how will you be your best self to your family ever yeah right yeah. there is there is no way this is going to happen like if you if you decided to stay awake to stay with them and tomorrow you need to wake up at four in the morning for sure when your alarm goes off the first thing you're gonna think it's like those dang kids <laughs> i shouldn't have stayed up. i should have i should have just like i should have gone to bed why did i stay right. up with them playing video games stupid video game like why yeah yeah right and you start resenting your family and then you get back to work and you're cranky with them because the, those are the people that are around you and you mm -hmm. don't even realize that you're cranky and now you're being a sucky father because you decided that you needed to stay awake with them for them yeah after your time so now I you're mean, being a sucky so person because you don't want to be selfish right But mm -hmm. being selfish, like I distinguish that like selfish and selfish, like you're taking care of yourself. You're not being selfish. You're not putting yourself first. You're just taking care of the things that you need to take care of so you can be better for the people around you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a big deal. So yeah, even in my head, we all even know like, hey, sleep is important. Like right. it's not a secret. And um, so it was just so uh, demanding. Uh, You found the will. Hey, sleep is important. Heard it. I mean, there's so many things out there. Like, um, I like to listen to motivational stuff and speeches and everything. And then they always talk about the hustle and sleep when you're dead and everything. Yeah, and if you don't, if you don't sleep, you're literally you're that's going to happen faster. Right. You will be dead sooner. Like, and the people that say I only need four to five hours of sleep, it's like it's just not true. Not true. And so when we started adding up the time, so like, it's like 7.30. I mean, the sun is out. It's like summer. We could go swimming at 7.30. Everything's tough. finally home from practice. It's tough. Um, but anyways, once we started focusing on it, kids are good. Like they tuck me into bed and they stay up. Yeah. And then um, like my wife doesn't have to go to bed that early. Right. So, and she's cool. They all tuck me in and I try to go to bed. And, but sometimes I'm still like up and I'm like, oh, I gotta go. Uh, so I'm definitely, it's a work in progress, but it is better. And then I have noticed through the days for sure, yeah. I'm better. It is always gonna be a work in progress because like mm -hmm. stuff is gonna happen through the day, right? Like summer, like mm -hmm. for sure there, there was a period of adaptation when the time changed and you're like, dang it, it's nine o'clock and the sun is out and I'm awake and tomorrow I have to wake up at 3.30. Oh, dang it. Right, so there's yeah. like a little period of there's always going to be stuff and season and some days you're going to be mm -hmm. more tired so your brain's going to be okay let's go to sleep some days you're going to be more excited and something's going to happen yeah like more full of energy and you're going to want to stay with the kids maybe someone's birthday so it's yeah. just like every day we are all choosing to be the best version that we can be And the people yeah. like if people think like, oh, y'all have the body that you want. Y'all are coaches like this come easy to you. Like Vanessa always tells me like, oh, it's so easy for you to choose to eat broccoli. It's like, it's not. No. I promise you, I would much rather be eating the pizza with beer because that is fun. It's legit yes. fun. I like that. It's just that eating the pizza with the beer every single day, it's going to take me to a place that I did not like when I was there. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. I know the place that I can be and I did not like the person that I was when I was there. So I take the steps that I need to take to not visit this place anymore. Yeah. Those are the choices that I make daily. And those are daily choices. It's not easy. It doesn't come like, like yuck pizza and yuck beer or wine oh, yeah, no. or like 
Uh, yuck, have fun. Who likes to have fun? And I don't believe, I, I mean, there may be people out there, but I don't even really believe that like when they turn their nose up at someone smoking, drinking, eating, whatever. It's like, bro, you were there too. There's no way in your life. <laughs> at some point. You have never done that. And then you can't tell me that like, yeah, eating whatever your favorite burger is like, that literally tastes good. It does. You know, but if you keep making those decisions, it's just really where you want to be. So like I'm, so I'm like uh, tracking my food and, and everything as well along like with the sleep. <laughs> so yeah. it just got me back into a whole system. And there's so many times I'm like eating my meal and it's like, oh, but I would rather have. Nice. So then I even go to, you know what? If I eat my meal and I hit my whatever, if I still want that other thing, I'll go do it. Yeah. But then by the time I actually do it, more often than not, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So it's like for sure important for people to remember. I feel like it, Link. It's not easy. It's not easy to anyone. Everyone mm -hmm. is trying to figure it out. It's just that some people are a little bit ahead of the on the race than others, but we all like, we all trying to do the next easiest, most actionable thing in front of us. That's going to take us. It's going to feel like we moved the needle. We all yes. doing that, right? Like, oh, okay. That made me feel good. I'm just going to repeat that and see if I can create the habit of being a better at this because yeah, yeah. I suck at this, right? You know, uh, also what wasn't easy was so I focused, okay, just my sleep. That was my step one. Well, then once I realized I'm probably having caffeine, not only too much, but just like too late in the day as well. Mm -hmm. um, that like wasn't easy to just not do. No. It was a conscious decision to say like, oh, okay, I'm not going to because right. I want to sleep. So my, my desire to sleep was so great that I gave up like some of my favorite, oh, so good, touches the lips. But I mean, it's not easy. And then once not it's easy, for a no. couple of days, like, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I, I understand, because I do like, like, once I finish my meals, mm -hmm. I love to drink coffee. Like, it's, oh, yeah. it's like, it complements. It's just like that little, okay, you're done. Here's your prize. Right. <laughs> but I know that if I drink coffee after two, it's done. Like, yeah, let's party. Yeah. Let's sleep. Right? And you don't really drink uh, decaf anything. You're no. like real, like lighter real fluid right. stuff. Yeah. So I legit make like some days I can see the coffee in my mouth watery <laughs> because I yes. want it so bad. Yes. But it's like, okay, but you're not going to sleep. Is that really worth it? It's mm -hmm. like, no, forget about it. Let's drink a big gulp of water and just yeah. finish it up with the day. Yeah, no, I'm the same. Hey, so what would be top three things that someone could do? For what? I don't know, for health or fitness. So it I do might. like the thing, like step one, just choose one. It doesn't have to be all. So either start with nutrition or if you're joining a gym, start working out, start walking. Step one, but, believe that you can do it. Yeah. Like commit with yourself of doing one thing and stop saying, I cannot. Like I can't drink water. You can't. You're an adult. You have you actually, a fridge in your house. You, you have, can. you can, yeah. right? You have a hand. You have a mouth, you have a tongue, yeah. you have like all of your body's working. You can, you just don't want to put the effort on. So whatever you decided that you're going to do it, I cannot eat protein. Again, you can. I cannot go for a walk around the neighborhood. You can. Like if you have, you have your feet, you have your legs, they're working, you can. Just go ahead and do it. Right? Yeah. So your first easiest thing is just say I can. I can. Just like commit with whatever you want want to do it like i'm gonna drink water awesome stop saying that you cannot drink water you can't you drink water just drink water right yep. number so two commit, don't complicate commit it to one thing 
one thing, one thing. Don't doesn't need to be the whole. Don't change your life today. Just come in yeah. with one thing. Change one thing in your life. Then don't complicate it. Use the easiest thing. Like don't be like I'm gonna exercise and I'm gonna be I'm gonna start CrossFit tomorrow. You don't need to start CrossFit tomorrow if you're just starting. Like if you're getting out of your sofa and decided to work out, maybe let's be able to walk for 30 minutes without throwing up, mm -hmm. and then you can try and go and look it up for a gym. Yeah, I like that part on, and another way to look at it is the, no matter what the class is, um, what can you commit to, uh, what can you see yourself committing to long-term? Because even say whatever class it is, it's gonna take a, so the actual class is an hour. There's, then there's travel time there and then there's travel time home. So you're looking at say unless like- you wanna, Unless you wanna work out home. If you wanna work out home, hit me up. Oh yeah at home but yeah so if you're traveling that's multiple hours right. just to start that thing and right. if you've done nothing two hours at least yeah for sure so commit to like what you see yourself literally yeah. being able to do right doing yeah. it i like a walk in the neighborhood around the neighborhood like 30 minutes walk and then you have to account to come back eat breakfast or dinner with the family shower go to sleep or go to work whatever yeah but like don't do don't commit to do something that you're gonna have to find excuses to not oh i cannot go to walk today because i need to go to work well yeah that's your own responsibility you're an adult yeah and then the um i like the term uh just like playing it forward mm. so if you're just starting out and this is something that you want to do this isn't like a two to three week blitz hustle this is right. something that you can do think about it. And if it builds anxiety of like, I don't know if I can keep up, then cut it back. Just start with something you're like, Oh, well, yeah, I can totally five do that. Minutes, five minutes walk. Can you That's walk it. for five minutes? Boom. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. I like that. Simple, simple. Next. What is the next easiest, simplest thing that you can do? That's going to take you out of the funk. Even like, I feel like for people that are depressed, right or like mm -hmm. like maybe not a like clinically depressed but like sad in a funk right what's something that if you do right now it's gonna legit bring you joy right yeah. it's gonna legit feel like you have your life under control put some music on and go do that like, i like a, yeah i like that. watch the birds play with your dog play with your kids make the bed, take a shower, go, I don't know, like whatever it is, that's your next action, right? The yeah. simple one, like don't plan, I'm gonna feel better in three months when I have planned my trip to, I don't know, Mexico, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's like, you're, you're waiting three months for you to feel better until yeah there you're gonna feel depressed and sad it's like no let's fix this shit now yeah so i, like it. I mean it's the it. least the least amount of change or the least amount of activity that will create change right so that's like where my we just coach, want to start so, so what's right. a little my coach, says, my coach says the least friction with the biggest change boom yeah and also so we want to stay in that side versus the other side uh, with some people that we know as well. They're trying to see how much they can do before they break, right? right? That's a whole other extreme. We're just like, if you just want to get going, find the smallest thing you can do that Commit will create that. change. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And be, be the best that you can do at that. Like, mm -hmm. be the pro at drink water. Like, crush you drink water. Like, yeah. Three yeah. liters of water. Easy. Done. Boom. I'm, I'm, I'm a boss at that. Boom. Mm -hmm. Once you're done, at once, once you're a boss at that thing, then you're allowed to build it up. Because probably how you got to where you are 
is by adding up too much to your plate. And there is already too much on your plate anyways, right? There's mm -hmm. kids at work, there's like obligations and bills to pay and like stress is a bunch of, comes on oh, all yeah. the way. You don't need yeah. more stress on the right. plate. So right. add just one thing, add one thing. The simplest one, easiest one, crush that. I like it. That's just like this. We just do one podcast at a time. There you go. And, and, to 100. and we'll be, uh, I'll see you at the top. That's what Zig Ziglar would say. I'll see you at the top. There you go. But we don't look there right now. We just do one at a time. One at a time. That's it. That's all but, I have. Uh, I like it. That's all I have. How yeah. do we sign off on this thing? We always sign off different. Who's this, who was the sponsoring us today? Oh, uh, Strong by Design. Boom. And, and uh, United Trainers Association. United Association. You can only find United Trainers Association now on their, on website. their website. Yes. And it's Strong by uh, Design. We are strongbydesign.com. Oh, nice. Hey, is your Instagram on there? On your website? It can is. they find it? But okay. If you, if you want to look up for me on Instagram, at Coach K, the letter K, Damiani, D A M I A N I. That is me. Look it up. And, these, and you'll put these links on there too, right? Yeah. And well, I guess if they watch this, then they found it somehow. Somehow. Never yeah. mind. But I can put the link there. And if you yes, go to my bio, it. there is some free stuff for you in there too. So Ooh, check it out the bio. Free stuff is fun. Free, free stuff is always fun. So. Oh, hey, real quick. Uh, you remember when we had Gooder, when they were asking to be our uh, sponsor? Sure. Yeah. Yes, oh, they yeah. really weren't. But uh, I got a couple of glasses. You want to see them real quick? Yeah, you do it. real quick. Hold on. For sure. I'm sure people want to see. It. Yeah. The people want to see. Gooder is good. I like that that company. I like them. I love them. Got the white ones. I went back with the white ones. If you want to, people, if you want to buy fun sunglasses, they are super um, trendy and fashion. Black. Super Wait. fashion and affordable. They are affordable. I'm a coach. I can buy them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I wanted. It's like, I grabbed the wrong ones. Good. Oh, this one. It's good. Er. These are gooder. It's the gooders. My son was correcting me when I was saying gooder. He goes, "That's not even real." This color. Look at that. Summary. Yeah. Yeah. Summary. Haven't even worn them yet. There you go. People, That's all I got. like, subscribe us, uh, leave comments on our YouTube channel, on our Spotify. Oh, subscribe on our channel so you know when we are dropping um, episodes. Can they subscribe on our Spotify channel? I think so. Yeah, they can. They can follow us. Hey, do you know Joe Rogan's on Spotify now too? He has videos in his Spotify. How do we get that, Karina? I have no idea. That's, I don't either. It's very complicated. When we have our team, maybe we should stop recording because people are going to, they're going to get bored about our. Okay. Signing off. Signing off. Bye people. Thank Bye. you for listening to us and stay here. <laughs>